So we're going to remove these two. Uh, crap. There we go. We're going to remove these two um, compression fittings because we're going to be using the overflow, so we're no longer going to be using meeting those. So our first changes are going to be to these two outside um, stacks, and so I'm going to remove this inside stack to make working with the outside stacks a little bit easier. So drop that clamp and remove the stack. So first thing we're going to do is bend bend this um, 45, or put this 45 in here to bend your overflow out such that it can, it can accommodate the um, sight glass that we're about to add. So I put that 45 in and now I'm reinstalling the um, reinstalling the um, uh, valve and then we're going to need to put in these end cap with MPTs in it such that we can accommodate the sight glass that's going in. Darn it. There we go. So the sight glass goes right here. We need a tri clamp to hold that in. Side glass in. And by the way, you have to be careful when you're doing uh, working with these side glasses. You want to make sure that the typical silicon seal that's in there has been removed and been replaced by a Viton seal, which um, will not leach onto your product. So now we're putting the second uh, end cap by MPT on, such that we can put our second valve on. The reason for double valving these sight glasses is such that if you do have a failure, and you have to remember that these sight glasses will not um, handle the pressure that your stainless will, so you've got to be careful when you're working with these kinds of pressures. So now with that sight glass installed and the end cap by MPT, we can now, with the, with the nipple here, we can now install our other ball valve. And so what this gives you the ability to do is if you have an overpressure situation, you know, you're approaching 100 pounds of pressure by some error, um, that you can close these valves and um, save your sight glass or eliminate your sight glass. Or if you do have failure, you can eliminate the spill of butane into the atmosphere around you, thus um, saving yourself potential danger and exposure. Um, so that is the, that's the structure of our overflow um, um, column, and now we're going to work just um, ever so add a, a few adaptations again to um, uh, this gas staff by removing it and adding in an additional. 45 on this side as well, such that we can pull the function of these gauges away from the main stack, making it a little bit easier to use your valves. Well, this one's always a little bit tougher just because you've got all this stuff on the stack. 